Welcome back in. Well, becoming a parent can be an exciting time, but in addition to taking care of that little one, there are some things you need to take care of in terms of your money. Marshall Clay from the Wealth Group joins us now with some money strategies for new parents. By the way, congratulations. You are the proud parents of a second child, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah. last week, August 2nd. A so. boy or girl? Boy, boy, second boy. Awesome. Well, that, congratulations. And, and there are some things you can think about. There may be some new parents out there, um, and they're, they're, their mind's going all different time, kind of directions. But there are some things you need to take care of. You're, you're, you're exactly right. And, the, you know, there's a number of things, and what we're going to talk about this morning is just kind of the tip of the iceberg. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there's, you know, having children is such a joyous event. And when you get in that situation, you're worried about, you know, changing clothes, changing diapers, keeping them cool on yeah. days like today, but sure. you sort of forget about all those financial things. Well, if you're a young parent, you may not be thinking about a will, but it's, so, it's very important. You're, you're exactly right. And most people, when they think about wills, they think about financial assets and money and how that sort of passes down to the next of kin. The reality is there's a very important aspect of the will, particularly as it pertains to minor children, which talks about how those children will be taken care of, both, both from their physical well-being and from a financial well-being within the will. So a lot of people overlook that aspect of the will and think, I don't really need a will because I don't have any money, but that's not really the case. And God forbid something should happen to you, but in case it does, you just want to be protected, kind of like life insurance. It's, it's something, you know, somebody young may think, well, I need life insurance for but you do need it. Uh, absolutely, and so you know, life insurance, in my view, is essentially just income replacement. So when you're so when you're looking at how much money you make, how much it takes for you to sort of sustain your family's lifestyle, uh, that's where the life insurance comes in. And for vast majority of people, uh, term life insurance is, is is the most appropriate. There are certain circumstances where maybe some permanent life insurance or whole life is appropriate, but that involves higher premiums um, and, and impairs people's cash flow a little bit more. So that so that actually requires a little bit more thought. All right, so now if you have a, a, if a college uh, tuition account that you want to open for the child, really the 529 plan I found is, is really the most effective. Uh, absolutely, it, it, it actually gives you a small state income tax deduction up to $10,000 of annual contributions. Um, and I encourage all my clients to sort of start early. Um, you know, you've got time is on your side, you know, when your child is first born, you've got 17, 18 years until they ultimately go to college. Um, but there has been a change recently in the law which allows for some of that 529 plan money to be used towards elementary and secondary and, and post-secondary education. Well, so that's if good. you start early, you got a chance for that, that money to build up if, if you start that early. By the way, you can get any 529 plan at any state, but I will say Alabama's rating as on theirs has uh, improved the last few years. It, yeah. it has. Yeah. I mean, it, it, yeah. it used to not be one of the best, but it's now up there as, as one of the best. All right, Marshall Clay, thank you so much and congratulations again. Thank sir. you. All right. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. We got more ahead here on Good Day Alabama. Up next one.